Hello, I'm Tim Phillips and welcome to episode three of my country house tour. Now we are in Little Hawksley at a beautiful house behind me called Westwood Park. Now that's only 10 minutes drive to Colchester and Colchester is 46 minutes by train to London Liverpool Street. I'm really, really excited to show you around this one. So come inside with me. Well, welcome to Westwood Park. There is an old adage that says that most buyers will have actually made a decision before they've even got here. But I think you'll see is when I walk in here with buyers, they are very, very impressed. You could see, and I know that the owners now, and I'm sure those in the past have used this for events. You can get a lot of people in here. Um, what always strikes me is the fact that we've got a lot of woodwork in here. But I know that the owners had French polishers in here for a, a an audible amount of time just making sure everything was perfect and actually this gallery staircase and the detailed plaster work is, is just so beautiful and above me here is this beautiful glazed lantern that just floods this room with natural light. So I'd like to go and show you the sitting room. Now Westwood Park is just under 24,000 square foot for the main house alone. That's in, not including some of the cottages and the Airbnbs which hopefully I can show you a bit more later. It is set in 53 acres and we are now in the formal sitting room and I hope that you could get a bit of a sense of scale. This amazing barrel ceiling has really really detailed plaster work and there's lots of nods to this Jacobean era in some of the woodwork and the fireplace and I believe that some of this stained glass has nods back to uh, Captain William Hill who bought the house and remodeled it in 1905. So just the other side of the hallway that I came into is the study and I want to go and show you over there but before I do Lots of little intricacies at Westwood Park. Now, behind this little door is one of the passages that the staff would have come through to serve the guests. And there's lots of separate staircases and these passages all around the house so that the owner of the house wouldn't see the staff. So close that, let's go and have a look at the study. So Westwood Park was originally built in 1692 and as I mentioned in the reception room it was then remodelled and extended by Captain William Hill in this Jacobean style. In 1950 the home was bought and made into a care home and my clients then rescued it frankly from being a commercial house and resurrected it and turned it into a, a family home. And what I notice when I look around, I mean you can see hopefully how much uh, detail and time has been put into making it so special but it's things like this these radiators with all the copper and these stone mullions and everything is now just so perfect um, it's a joy to see a country house like this that has been uh, had a breath of uh, energy put back into it and here in the study you can sit at the front of the house look out to the gardens and you see what's going on um, you've even got your own fireplace in here so you can keep warm in the uh, in the winter Hopefully you'll see that there's a great flow between these rooms. You've got the sitting room, the study, and then this really pretty music room. Um, the current owners say use it as a music room, but actually I think whatever you're into, this room would adapt really well. And actually I really like the difference in, in mood, a um, bit French chateau, and you'll see above me, again in this stone mullion, more uh, very intricate uh, stained glass. Okay, so the part you've all been waiting for, the kitchen, so let's go and have a look. So welcome to the kitchen. Um, on my left is a, a really clever internal courtyard that you can open on a sunny day. And this is a very, very impressive and not small kitchen made by a local um, kitchen maker called Humphrey Munson. So behind me there is a gas hob. There's lots of very clever ways of hiding some of the um, things like coffee makers in the pillars behind us. Um, there is a lot of reception space behind Max, but before I show you that, I wanted to show you this really clever connection between this kitchen and this external garden. So this is dog proof and children proof, so you can put your kids in here and your dog and everyone be very safe and actually 
because you've got these 50 so acres, this is this kind of slightly intimate, it's very warm, it's definitely a sun trap. Just a lovely place to hang out with family, you've got a water feature here and just as you come down to this part of the garden you've got a gate that then will take you out to the further parklands, so there's 50 odd acres and just behind Max, which again I'll show you later, is this kind of sunroom that's currently being used as a gym. So everything kind of wraps around this garden. Um, I'm definitely going to go and show you those uh, reception spaces. Something interesting I always think about when I'm selling homes like this is the fact that these homes didn't have what we all have now, this kind of eat-in family kitchen. They had, frankly, staff in a basement or somewhere that was very, very small out the back with no view. So the owners have certainly thought about that and created this lovely open plan. So you've got a kitchen. Behind Max here, you've got a, a, an informal sitting area uh, with a stove that is perfect again in the winter. And you've got somewhere for less formal eating. And then through here, um, I kind of talk about this as a very adult TV room, one of those very clever uh, televisions behind me that looks like a piece of art. And when I came here a few years ago, a lot of this was actually had been removed to, to renovate. There's just a really great feeling in here, very intimate, nice place to sit. And again, you look out over the gardens with more stained glass. Behind me here is a lavatory that you can use when you're outside in that garden that we've just been in. Well, there's quite a breeze coming from outside. That's one lovely thing about these old homes is that they actually keep really cool in the summer. Um, so on my right here, as we exit the kitchen, is a larder pantry with a sink in it. And I'm really pleased at how close this is to the kitchen because this we have a great cinema room. It's got air conditioning and there's lots of space for the family to chill out here. You get your whole family sitting in here, uh, lovely and comfortable. And then behind you is the gym. Okay, having shown you downstairs, um, I want to show you the bedrooms. There are nine bedrooms in total in the main house. Let's go upstairs and I'll show you a couple. In this part of the house, we have two bedrooms and one family bathroom behind me. And all of this here is the main suite. On my left here, we have uh, what I call the teenager pad. It's got a sitting room, a bedroom and a bathroom. But obviously, I want to show you the main suite. So let's go and have a look. So welcome to the main suite. We've got much more of this panelling throughout and this beautiful parquet flooring. We've got mullion windows and these leaded lights and the most important cast iron radiators. Let me go and show you the dressing room. So welcome to the dressing room. There's lots of free hanging space in here and lots of rooms for shoes and all your goodies. And this takes you straight through again to the bathroom, which I think you'll agree is very, very special indeed. I don't know what was here before, but it certainly was nothing like this. So the owners have done a really good job of creating something bespoke and very special. So there's a catch pool and rye uh, freestanding bath with a, a view and a half. Um, there is a throne and a really lovely double shower with vanity unit and his and hers sink. So I mean, this is quite a, quite a bathroom, I think. So as we come from the main suite bathroom, we've got two more bedrooms and a family bathroom to have a look at. Now I really wanted to show you this kind of chateau bathroom. There's a family bathroom here, double bedroom to my left. And this is very similar to the bedroom downstairs. We've got this much lighter tones. It's very similar to that music room that we saw. And you could really see why the owner's children move around these rooms because they all have their own flavor. They're all a little bit different. So you've now seen the main bedrooms, but I really want to explain the bits that you haven't seen. So behind Max is a uh, separate apartment. It's one and a half bedrooms, finished really well throughout, and it has a staircase to its own front door. And through this door, there are two levels of guest bedrooms. The top floor has its own kitchen breakfast room. The first floor has an amazing games room, and that's the bit I really want to show you. So come and have a look. Well, I think you can see why I brought you here. It takes me back to my childhood. We've got Space Invaders machine, we've got Star Trek, we've got a table tennis table, and my old favorite, air hockey. So um, 
Well, I guess I'll see you in the garden. So there are lots of ways to move from Westwood Park into the gardens, but I've got to say I'm a bit of a fan of coming out of this door. It also means that I can do a whole loop and show you everything that there is to offer here. Now, round here is um, one of the very different facades. So the front of the house actually is very grand, but this side of the house is even wider and you have some of the most lovely cedar trees. So come through this arch and I'll show you this part of the garden. Now I really wanted to bring you round to this part of the garden because I think it's just magical. Um, actually I often kind of stand here, even sometimes after viewings, and just look at this beautiful facade because frankly it is just utterly beautiful. Um, the, on the left hand side there's some really ancient, ancient cedars and I just think this is quite a scene um, and it's just so quiet. Right, let's go and have a look at the rest of the garden. And of course we have an outdoor heated swimming pool, so let me go and show you that. So here we have the swimming pool. So this is uh, heated by an air source heat pump, and it is a really good size. The owner actually put this in because he did a lot of triathlon, so um, great for a real good swim, but also a really great place to hang out, and I'm a bit jealous right now because it's very warm. I wanted to show you as much of these beautiful gardens as I possibly can. Both sides of me are shrub borders and through here is a wall garden that has the most incredible pear arch which I think is just, I mean, look at the age of these uh, pear trees. It's quite amazing that these are still here. Some of the age of these trees is quite incredible. Now, as you come through this wall garden, um, there are other bits that I'd like to point out to you. So, um, as you go down here, which I'll take you to, there's uh, a, a, an orchard with lots of fruit trees. There's something that's really quite impressive, which is a Victorian vegetable washer, which I've never seen anywhere else. And there's a, an original well. I can see someone having a great time spending time here, putting these gardens um, as they wish, but with already with this uh, formality that, that exists here. So this is all a fig tree. I mean, it's incredible, isn't it, as you come through here. So these are going to be coming out very soon. Another section of the wall garden here, and as I promised, you've got the uh, original well, still got water in there. And then this is the, the vegetable washer. Now there are two very large glass houses that someone will have a great time restoring. This one actually has its own cellar. And then you come into a very old orchard. There's an entrance here. There's um, uh, a, uh, some accommodation here that is a two bedroom, two bath Airbnb. And so they can park out the way. And you've got these glorious fruit trees. And down here you are so far away from the house. You have another greenhouse at the end of the wall garden. And then as far as you can possibly see, so the top of those trees, that's where your land goes on to, as I said, 53 acres. And you're really, really close to Colchester. And did you know that at 49 AD, that was the Roman capital of Britain? So London was 1066. So I wanted to show you to the end of the property because through this gate, everything you can see is yours. So there's a path that runs around the whole, um, the whole field, so you can have a run around there, including the parts of the wood, so everything here is included in the sale. And then finally on the tour, I wanted to show you this formal water garden, which is just incredible. Look at that view back at the house.
Well, thank you everyone. I hope you enjoyed the tour. I know I did. I'm under my favourite arch at Westwood Park. It'd be great if you could like, subscribe and press the bell icon and I'll see you next time. Thank you.